Hey guys, how you doing? Pablo with BND, and today I'm gonna be hitting this guy Adam Kokash. He's a former Marine, and since then he decided that he was going to just start bashing the whole military and government. And I'll tell you, like this video really, really ticked me off. I mean, I bet that will too. It, it, at times, it it doesn't have to do with. You guys agree with a war or not? It, it it has more to do with purpose of the military and the people who actually serve the country. So let's have at it. The troops that military jocksniff are so passionately support meet the exact definition of the welfare queens they just as passionately condemn. The difference is that welfare queens make babies to get free money from the government, whereas the bulk of the money that comes from the troops whoring out their lives and morality goes to their pimp profiteers and bankers. Oh yeah, that's a great start. So join the military is an act of cowardice, ignorance, or greed. I see. Well, keep going. If you're in the military, productive taxpayers clothe you, feed you, house you, and pay for your medical care and benefits, while you chase imaginary enemies and make real ones faster than you can kill them. We pay your salary so you can run around singing stupid songs, beat your chests, and sleep on the job. You say you're defending freedom, but that means you're either delusional, ignorant, or in on the scam. Your actions actually threaten our freedoms here at home. You're not protecting the people, you're protecting the government so it can keep exploiting us. So, I don't even know where to start. I mean, for a while, I call in every person who is from the military delusional, uh, a hunting ghost, or anything like that. And plus, talking about sleeping on the job, I mean, he should know better. He should know that most of the days start at 5.45, and they don't end until 5 o'clock in the afternoon. What it means, it's almost 12 hours of work and oh I'm sorry uh, you're still in the army or in the Air Force or whatever armed forces and you have to sleep uh, yeah he he does know that we don't make it over time you're paid whatever I went to training time and again for about over a month and maybe I slept about three to four hours a day so yeah oh i'm sorry i should have tried to stay up for those four hours yeah and i think one of the things that upsets the most is how he enjoys offending people and even worse than that people rally behind people like that what they don't realize is the military protects them so they get the right to say stuff like that According to the government's own numbers, you're eight times more likely to be killed by a cop than by a terrorist. The only serious threats to our freedom are internal, not external. Oh my god. I swear to god, everything I want to say to this guy right now would get me strikes on YouTube. And I would probably have my channel banned. Alright, so yeah, sure. I agree with you, there's more chance for you to be killed by a cop than a terrorist. But good part of that reason is, if you have a strong military, terrorists probably will try to stay clear from your country. Now the other thing, saying that the military threatened your freedom at home, you're a jackass. Okay? I'll tell you what, if you're right, that's what we should do. We should get rid of the military, we should get rid of the government. And wait until, I don't know what, Canada invade us with uh, forks and knives? You'd have to be terribly ignorant to think that joining the military today has anything to do with protecting freedom. If the troops defended freedom, they'd attack the government. So for the people who care so much about America that they're willing to lay down their lives to protect it, but can't care enough to even pay the slightest attention to the news or what's going on in their communities, or they're really just illiterate, we can excuse their flag-waving patriotism as simply ignorance, and a little education will go a long way. I swear to God, this guy looks like he never served in his life, even if uh, he had a disgraced uh, service, but he still served. So, one of the things I always see, like, soldiers are usually really, really helpful for communities, and they get really involved with whatever community they live on. 
For the people who join the military but don't have their heads inserted into their fifth point of contact, joining the military is either an act of pure greed or cowardice. If you understand that the government is a greater threat to you and your family and your community's freedom than any terrorist, it is cowardly to say that you will not only ignore the big threat, but that you will also do whatever the big threat tells you to do. Alright, let this illiterate sergeant tell you why is a military import important and what's the actual job of the military. Having a strong military better ensures that foreign nations honor their commitments and agreements with the country. A military force provides protection to ships against modern-day pirates. The military forces allow for the protection and extraction of American citizens living in foreign countries. What this moron don't seem to understand is that the main reason why all countries, besides one or two, have militaries is so they can protect themselves if something comes to happen. And you know, it's like Tony Stark says, peace means having a bigger stick than the other guy. It is cowardly to hand over control of your career to an institution that will pay your salary with stolen money instead of embracing the challenge of finding a way to provide real value to yourself and others in the free market. Signing your life away to serve as part of a machine is a cowardly way to avoid the greatest challenge of the human experience. Yeah, just like pretty much every single person that watched your channel that have no actual understanding about military and government and just agree with whatever comes out of your mouth. And the funniest thing is, those people are the actual illiterates. They don't go and read on a subject and try to argue the subject. They just look at people like you, hey, I was in the military, you know, the government shit, fuck. Let's raise this guy and build him a statue. You did it for the education benefits to better yourself? You didn't have any other options? A moral person would rather live by dumpster diving than help hurt innocent people for a living, but those are obviously selfish reasons anyway. Okay, that's just plain stupid. So, in my opinion, whatever time this moron passed in his military service really didn't teach him anything. And you know what? I'll blame his leaders. Or he, you know, blame his mother for making his bed every day, putting his toys away. But different than him, I actually looked around. So, I'll give an example. I had a soldier. Uh, he lived in Texas. He pretty much like his family, uh, his uncle, his father, they're in jail for, I don't know, 25 to life. Uh, he lived in an area that was full of gangs. Uh, he was getting pressure from the same gangs to actually join them. And I'll tell you, some communities are not much of a choice. So what he did was he joined the military to get away from that and try to build a life he would not be able to have. You see, People like him had opportunities, maybe, and they just look as well. Everybody in America has the same chance. No, not everybody has the same chance. And even so, that only accounts for 10% of the military. Because half of the military are on the 40 percentile of the highest income in the country. Those people are not cowards for joining the military. They join the military because they believe on a free country. What I hate about people like that is that for forgetting what the military is about and saying things like this, it's pretty much like spitting in the face of every single serviceman or serviceman that died in every single war since the independence of this country. The greater fraud, however, is troops who are more than happy to profit from the fact that most Americans remain ignorant about the truth of military service. How many blowjobs have gone to show appreciation for risking your life to protect my freedom? Because gullible young women fell for the lies of politicians and all that young men had to do to capitalize on that was put on a uniform. Oh, I'm sorry if some people have actually different opinions than you and they're thankful for our military. I just don't get people like that. So they have to be offensive because if you watch his channel and you don't agree with him, 
you have to feel like, well, it's because I'm stupid and because I like to give blowjobs to soldiers. That's one of the most stupid things I've ever heard in my life. Now, none of this is to say that if you join the military, you're ignorant, greedy, or a coward. But if it walks like a duck and talks like a duck, yeah. Alright, so the only thing I have to say about this guy is he's just freaking insane. So I was googling searching a little bit more about this guy. So okay, he joined Marines, he left, he ended up uh, being judged, they had the general discharge because he was wearing fatigues during the uh, during the protest. But that was after he had left the military, so I'm not going to go at him for that. And now, he's planning to run for president in 2020 on the platform of an orderly dissolution of the federal government. So, pretty much what he wants is that we all have an anarchy in our country. Probably no military. Um... I don't know, maybe no cops, firefighters, anything, just, you know, we live our lives for ourselves, uh, no money. I, I don't know. I really cannot understand what a guy like that has in his mind. And, you know, and one saying that used to be very big in Brazil is, it's your country, love it or leave. You know what, man, you don't like your country, you know, that that's cool, but, you know, just move. Go somewhere else. I don't know. Go to Afghanistan. You probably think that's a really cool country, you know? Things are going really well. Maybe you join some buddies of yours in there and... Well, eventually someone's gonna roll over you. Because that's what the infantry does best. Ah. And I think the worst part is I was looking at all the replies for, for his video. And, and some people are just not better. I mean, this guy's a jackass and a moron. But some people commenting on him... They're just stupid. I mean, that's probably the best word I can use for Dan. And I'm starting to feel like the world is full of people like Adam Kokash. Hey guys, i just like to say, uh, I don't expect everybody to have the same opinion as me. If you do, great. You're a great person and you have a great future paved in front of you. But even if you're not, you are entitled to your opinion. Just please do me a favor and do a little bit of research before... You know, you just go and agree with people like that. That's why I'm asking. Um, if you like this video, please hit the subscribe button. Hit the not notifications bell. I'm going to be bringing videos like this every single week. I'm actually trying to work on a few things in the channel. And I may try to work where I'm going to have like two different videos every week. So I hope you guys have a great weekend. And I see you next week.